All right, we are out at night right now, shining around with a flashlight for scorpions and stuff. We have black lights, so scorpions, if you didn't know, will light up and glow in the dark. Um, they'll be fluorescent in the black lights. So we found a few of those. Um, we've also found some frogs tonight. Um, and I'm sure we'll find some more, so I'll throw in footage of those. But uh, so far, yeah, it's been pretty cool, and I figured I'd make a video of it. We're in a pretty desert-like environment right now, and the scorpions are pretty cool. Right, so it seems that shining by uh, old building structures and uh, things like that worked pretty well. This tube right here had a tree frog in it last night, but kind of shimmied down there. I don't know where it would be now. All right, but anyway, let's keep looking for stuff with two uh, fellow students here, so should be pretty cool. <laughs> people then. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right. Here we go. An African clawed frog inside our the tank of our water dish. And then whatever this guy is, gotta look this one up. It looks like some sort of weird pickerel frog. Yeah. So it looks like it's in the family Rana, but I don't know if they have that family in Africa. Um, look at his feet. Pretty cool though. Yeah, these guys are strange. He's got very broad feet. Okay, buddy. Try putting them down in like the in this for a sec. It's such a strange looking frog. Very popular in the pet trade though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they get everywhere. Yeah. There's this guy. Make sure you get his belly. <laughs> Perfect. Good pink. Okay, I'm putting this guy back. Right, He's bye. getting pretty dry. Oh, there's a sticker. Scorpion. Cool. Got the black lights. All right. Another little scorpion. <laughs> All right, so here's a better view of this scorpion. Way different than any we've seen. Very orange and black, pretty cool. All right, we just got another one here. Um, wow. Yeah, it doesn't even look real. That's so cool. Look at that. Shall we turn on regular lighting? Mm -hmm. We can in a sec. But a general rule, I guess, is thin pinchers like that, thick tail, means that it could ooh, be... Ooh. Oh, ooh. oh. Just like that. It the just moth. hit that moth, I think. It means that it could be relatively harmful to people. Yeah. Um... I don't know what the degree of harm is, but that's what the dangerous ones look like, I guess. Um, and then big pinchers, thin tail, large scorpion, generally rule of thumb is it's pretty good to go, but you never know. Cool. Let's see what he looks like with the light on. Oh, you know, this looks almost like the one we saw before. A little bit. Maybe different, though. Very cool. Another one. This one's really cool. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Very black. Very. It's so cool how there's like patterning that doesn't even show up until you yeah. add the UV. Those are massive claws. Yeah, sweet. That's awesome. Right, here's one that was fairly hidden by leaves, but got laser eyes on the team. Yeah, this is what qualifies as the potentially venomous kind. Highly venomous. They're all. Yeah, they're all venomous. venomous. Too. It's one of those orange ones again, right? Mm hmm. Stripes. Look, it looks like it has little X's on its tail. Oh, oh yeah. Wow, Ooh, pretty wow, much. Good thing to come back. All right, one of the tinier ones tonight. It's kind of itty. Oh my! Oh, I was just looking for somewhere to hide. Cool. All right, we've got three right here, close proximity. One, glowing, number two, and then number three. Pretty cool. Probably all same species or genus. All right, we're heading back for the night. We're gonna we're gonna call it because uh, gotta wake up early and go bird banding tomorrow. But uh, maybe I'll make a video of that too. Um, I think that'll be about it. But pretty cool. We saw some a couple species of frog. Let's see, I guess three species of frog, then plus two toads, and uh, then tons of scorpions. So uh, it was pretty cool. At least a couple species of scorpion. So uh, that'll be it, and uh, be sure to check in for the next thing.